So we've got a very interesting job today. So we had this account a few years back. It's a nursing home and it was notorious for having a ton of wipes. And I kid you not, probably almost a ton. Uh, so it was one we did not look forward to doing, but we did charge accordingly to pull out all those wipes. We told them multiple times, don't flush wipes. But when it's a nursing home, you've got a lot of nurses coming in and out. You've got a lot of older folks that not they don't necessarily know what's going on most of the time, unfortunately. So I do feel for them, but we got to charge to pull these wipes out. And <laughs> some admin changed up. We had called them and let them know that we handled the account to pump out this uh, specific grease trap. And they told us that they were okay, they'll handle it. Well, it's been two years and now it's overflowing. So I have a feeling it's going to be really, really bad. Now we would pump this out every three to four months when we handled the account. And it's been about two years. So if it was that bad every three to four months, you can only imagine what it's going to look like after two years. So I've got my trash bags, I've got a rake, and hopefully we can conquer this thing. I mean, we gave them a pretty high quote. They agreed to it, so we're going to do our best job to make sure we get this completely cleaned out, get these wipes bagged up because our disposal plant does not like when wipes, things like that, clog up their facility. So we're going to pull these out manually and get all this stuff out of there and hopefully <laughs> convince them to give us a call sooner to get this on a on a more frequent pump out schedule i know wipes are always a hot topic of discussion whether you're talking to a plumber whether you're talking to someone that pumps out septics what i usually recommend if you're dealing with septic system is don't flush anything that doesn't come out of your body and it will last a very long time now once you start adding things even paper it's going to start producing a floating scum layer that the enzymes and bacteria inside of the septic tank are going to have to work a little bit harder to break down now if it's just the waste coming out of your body perfect when you start adding chemicals you start adding paper fats, oils, grease, wipes, those enzymes and bacteria are having to work overtime. And it's the same theory with the roadkill. You think adding roadkill is going to somehow boost the process of the uh, decomposition of organic matter. What you're doing is you're adding more things that have to be broken down. Um, so it, there's a fallacy in that logic. And <laughs> hopefully this will show you what a very, very neglected tank that's been filled with wipes looks like and maybe it'll help you steer clear or steer towards uh, switching over to a bidet or maybe getting a uh, disposal bin with a bag and a lid to throw your wipes there I mean I'm not telling people don't use wipes but I'm telling people that if they dispose of them down the toilet it's gonna create problems and it may not affect you immediately but somewhere down the line and now we're in a very critical time. You got Thanksgiving coming up, you got Christmas coming up, all the other holidays. That is that is when literal shit will hit the fan. And I'm telling you, I've been doing this for five years. Those are our busiest times. You've got a house, maybe it's uh, someone that's only been living there um, on the weekends. Grandma's house, only grandma's been living there. And then you get a house full, grandkids, people coming in from the city, they don't know that you're not supposed to flush wipes, tampons, things like that on the toilet. And what happens? Clogs up the line. The septic tank gets clogged up. And then you have a house full of people that can't shower or use the restroom and blowing up our phones. When can you get there? When can you get there? Well, of course you charge a premium on the holidays because we've got to spend time with family as well and that's why another thing I want to stress is if your septic tank has been having issues or you think you might have an issue go ahead and get on somebody's schedule right now because I'm telling you it's going to be packed and it's going to be hard to get somebody to get out there 
to get your septic tank pumped out or get your line cleared during the holidays. Everybody, it seems like, gets clogged up. So do yourself a favor and get ahead of it. Get somebody out there. If you even think that there might be a problem, get somebody out there, get it pumped down, or at least assess the situation. But we're pulling up to this property right now and <laughs> I'll give you a look what it looks like. You can see where it's been overflowing right here. Got the sewer clean outs. Dang. Yeah, it looks like we got rags and everything going down here. We got the clean outs all lined up down the street. So we got the trap right here. There's usually a bunch of roaches. Hello friends, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it looks like you got a whole wad of wipes right there. Hold that. Oh my god. Puro grasa. Oh my god. Tambien, nothing but wipes. Ah, swipies. Looks like a mix of wipes and grease. All up and down here, you can see where it's been overflowing. And this is a big pipe, so you can only imagine how wound up those wipes must have got to clog up this six inch pipe. Damn, that's a lot of wipes. So we'll get our rake out here, start pulling these out and bagging them. We don't want to dispose of those. Like I said, it'll clog them up and they'll get pissed off at us. And this is the outlet, and that's supposed to be mostly water. Like I said, it's supposed to be mostly water. Crazy. <laughs> Still pulling up wipes on this side. So this is what grease looks like in your tank. Uh, that man's thing. Look at this thing. Yeah, keep keep pouring your grease down the drain. That's what'll happen. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my god. God. Okay, levanta. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! So it's a pretty tight fit to get into this tank. Uh, not really able to maneuver our pitchfork the way we want. So I'm gonna pump it down just a tad, bring in the crust buster. And what I really like about situations where we have wipes, they get wound up on the crust buster. And then I just take my razor, cut them off so I can bag it like that. Uh, works a lot faster than just kind of going in with the sewer hook, pulling them out bit by bit. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes.
got somebody's underwear. But yeah, you can see how much wax we got right here just on the crust buster. I usually just get my sewer hook, pull it off. If any get wound up too tight, I got my razor. But like I said, I don't want all this going out to the treatment plant because they get mad at us and I don't blame them. This messes up their equipment, messes up our equipment. It's a vicious cycle. So we're gonna get these off and bag it. But it's not that hard. People make a big deal about this. Just carry a razor. Don't splash yourself, that's the other thing. <laughs> and you gotta be careful with these wet wipes because the bag will get super heavy so you don't want to make it too heavy where the bag's going to rip i do got these uh three mil contractor bags so they should hold the weight pretty good but don't want to throw our back out moving this stuff so we've got one two three 42 gallon three mil contractor bags about halfway filled up before they get too heavy but you can see we've been skimming the top running the crust buster pulling wipes off and pretty much just repeating the cycle and we're getting there we're almost there it's also helpful that they're using a lot of water so that's helping us mix it up Whew, man this is turn out to be quite the job but we've got the right equipment so we can get it done think we'd ever make it but we're at the bottom and I don't know if you can tell but you see that that's the old lid and then we've got a new lid on top so there's bits and pieces of that broken original lid down there I don't want to get that up in my hose but you can clearly see we are at the bottom right there so this is the inlet side I'm gonna move over to the outlet side and do the same thing but yeah this is a rough one <laughs> So don't flush wipes, and if you got a grease trap, make sure you get it pumped out on a frequent basis. Now it's time for the fun part. It's time to load up these bags filled with wipes, and they're not light. They're not light. <laughs> some hand cleaner on my face i'll use it to wipe off my face too but whew, that was a long job but it was worth it um i hope that gives you a visual of what wipes look like in the tank now i know they say flushable i know they say everything but if you grab a pack of these wipes look at the back they've all started putting this disclaimer saying it's flushable under these conditions one wipe per flush 
the tank has to be inspected annually. The tank has to meet requirements by the local authorities here in Texas, pumped out every three to five years, inspected sooner, depending on household size, all that. But they've started putting these disclaimers and it turns out they may not be the best thing to flush, even if they're labeled as flushable. So hope that gives you an idea. If you, uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I drop a new video. If you want to check out any of the tools and equipment I use in my video, you can check the description box below. Those are affiliate links, so it helps out me and it helps out the channel. And if you have any questions about your septic tank, your septic system, grease trap, anything, drop it in the comments. I'll try and answer it in a short or a long form YouTube video. And that's it. I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care.